Uh, what's your name and where are you from? Uh, my name is uh, Shiva Kumar Nayanar. I'm from Bangalore, India. And when did you arrive in Boston? Uh, Friday, like, uh, you know, 13th exactly. And why are you here? So I came here to attend uh, Dr. Deepak Chopra's Sages and Scientists Conference. So the event is over now. And what is your field of study? What do you do? I am uh, basically astrology. I am economics graduate, psychology postgraduate, and PhD in astrology. And uh, basically as a naughty astrologer, I have been uh, doing my service uh, since 33 years in Bangalore. And how were you introduced to this? This is my traditional, astrology is my tradition. Like uh, my father, grandfather, great-grandfathers. It's a tradition of uh, reading, to understanding the cosmic energy, how the cosmic energy's implications on the human life, how that's making events on the human life, and how their behavioral pattern, their style, and growth, career well-being, financial well-being, in all the fields, how the cosmic energy, which is uh, giving that implications, that study is uh, in our tradition. So I did that study, and as a profession, I've been doing this. And what have you learned doing this kind of work? It's a great uh, science of science, energy science, time science. When this time science is not understood by the people, this is a missing criteria. When we're looking at the science, right from the, uh, like from the DNA to up to the DNA level, helix level, when we are doing a lot of research now, scientists developed, and the cosmic implication is missing into that. When that energy is blended with the advanced science development, then really uh, the people will be benefited. That will be a great service. So how can the average person benefit from astrology? When you look at this as a normal astrology, this word astrology is misunderstood nowadays. So we are living on the earth and we are time bound. Whether we like it or not, a time volume has that combination of the energy, that energy ingredients are there. So when we are able to understand the time, its implication on our life, normal people can have that self-awareness. It's understanding the time, it's a flow, the cosmic implication put together that is working on us, which is making us to think or work. So when this awareness is there in the general public and normal human, he can be so aware about here his own self, self-awareness, he can do better. Because when his uh, flow of the cosmic implication is very positive, he can push himself hard to achieve more. When his, the cosmic implication, the time uh, flow is negative, he can relax, do something relaxed to work. He can enjoy with his family, not to adventure in the wrong time and to get into problem. So this is a navigation, this is like a, a protection navigation guide. So do people have a destiny in life? Do yeah. they have a choice? People do have destiny in life. People do have choice also in their life. Both we need to understand. To whom the destiny will work, to whom the choice will work. And uh, to whom the both will work, and to whom the both will not work. So there are categories. So each and everybody born as a unique, right? The uniqueness is there because of the energy combination on the people. We are representing the combination of the same energy, like light is sound and space. Light is uh, stars, sound is planets, space is which they are available. Space is the distance. In Eastern 
knowledge and Eastern wisdom, we are calling that space is uh, measured by the distance between sun and moon is called Titi. Likewise, the space, light and sound, all the three criteria blend together which is available in the ether. So, on that space, our earth ball is spinning and receiving all the energies within itself and spinning rounding the sun. Because of the gravitation, the cosmic energy is received and which is having that process and working on the human life. If there is no gravitation, no astrology or no implication of the cosmic energy. When this is understood by the normal people, then they can plan their life. I have a story way behind. India was known as a rich country. All from many other countries, people are, have come and fought. Uh, India was looted. A lot of wealth have been looted. Why India was uh, as a rich country? There is a secret behind it. The ancient Indians were having the knowledge of time science. When to do, what to do, how to do. Even for eating, not all the time. When to sleep, when to wake up. As soon as we wake up, what to do? Everything we have manual, you know, life manual. So everything was systematic in ancient India. So that particular system based on the time, based on the geography, and based on the cosmic implication, the relationship between a human and the cosmic energy was understood based on that they have developed the system and custom rituals. Now this has been followed as a ritual. And what is the reality behind the ritual is not known for in this time, present time. Now, my uh, job is to make the people to understand, to make the people to be aware of what is the scientific implication or science behind the rituals and what is that cosmic implication. That awareness we need to create to the people. That is very important. Then, when they are able to understand that awareness, cosmic reality, implication, how we can make our own self, then this will become the free will enhancement tool. And what is the purpose of this life? Purpose is not one. There are many. Each and every individual has their own drive, their own path. We say that karma. Everyone has their own unique karma. We say that Sanchita Karma, Praradha Karma and Agamika Karma. Sanchita Karma is a many years balance sheet. Even uh, 10 years back, whatever the balance sheet we had, like some profit, some loss, some expenditure, some income, that is, is a consolidated closing balance, then brought forward a opening balance, that many years balance sheet that consolidated closing balance have been brought forward to the past life. That is called Prarabdha Karma. So, whatever the previous year's closing balance is brought forward into the business, we start an account into the business as an opening balance. So, in that opening balance, we say that opening so much of credit, so much of debit, so much of expenditures or uh, liabilities and assets, we can see that in that balance sheet. In the same way, each and everybody takes birth in their life with the brought forward balance. So that a karma decides the purpose. So here you have a free will, we, we say that agamika karma. Agamika karma means the self-awareness along with the self-awareness with more knowledge, connected to the conscious level, when we take a decision and executing the decision is called, is going to be a wonderful free will uh, progressing uh, means like that is going to get you the result maximum. 
if anybody is are making their free will by using only the mind out of mind they are one category of people they also have the free will that free will can work only the mind level lower material level the second category is mind and intellectual combination level people are trying to take uh, doing lot of analysis doing lot of uh, combination understanding the technology so inculcating everything and put together they are trying to make the decision with the free will with the more intellectuality that is a different category that also fails sometime it never works so outer mind with the emotion mind is connected to the emotions emotionally when we take the decision when we call it as a free will it's not exact free will with the intellectual uh, combination when we take a decision so called it is a free will somebody may be successful somebody may not be successful on their decisions so then we'll have to do a research why they are not successful why they have got success here one criteria works in between luck factor if anybody emotionally takes the decisions uh, using their free will they also get success sometime because their luck energy whatever the brought forward energy from the karma the brought forward balance if that balance is showing more assets they are successful that luck energy brings them good flow can you use astrology for gambling um it is we can use it but i don't suggest to use it for gambling i'm not i'm very positively driving driving the people for the positive next uh, dr- uh, next growth of their life not negatively gambling is going to be an addiction that that is what gambling cannot be irreversible addiction is gambling it is said in mahabharat in our indian epic gambling is the maximum irreversible addiction once the people entered into gambling they cannot come pa- come back and they will lose everything even in mahabharat there was a story they have lost all the country all the five brothers they have lost the country their uh, uh, property everything finally he has lost his wife he bet on his wife name so that indication was given to us to understand that irreversible addiction is psychological addiction that is not only physical addiction so even success in gambling hmm. you can use the astrology but it will not end in a positive way ah uh, which is going to uh, give make the person to receive that negative implications on his so he will be uh, having that ideology of by using the astrology negatively so and his his positive side of the thing divinity or spirituality cannot be tapped um what comes after this life even based on your karma uh, you can have a good life next also okay. wonderful life next so also we return here uh, you cannot say that you return here itself you can return on the surface of the earth and when you are destined to have a, a like a human or a, like a different uh, uh, species on the earth possible and uh, what is the purpose of the hardship or difficult times in our life difficult time is how we are seeing that uh, winter summer all the seasons are coming back every year we can see that the same seasons are coming back the understanding is every year when we are able to see the seasons repeatedly the same way hardship hard time we cannot avoid in human life that understanding should be there when we are getting ready for the winter with a lot of gloves sweaters jackets and especially we are preparing to meet the 
how we lived with the COVID two, three years. In such a way, how we are living with the seasons to manage. The same way, how we need to prepare ourselves, that knowledge, that awareness we should get. So that hardship cannot be a so hardship, if we can manage it easily. That understanding I am spreading out. And was there an astrological signal of COVID? Yes. On my 2018, I have made one uh, video in YouTube, which is available now also. You can access. And uh, 2018, uh, December, 26th uh, and 2019 December the Mars and Saturn they cross they were crossing each other Mars was crossing Saturn in Sagittarius so I remember a lot about that point because I have indicator about a strong disease will be possible it will be spreading contagious and pandemic event possible. That is what my prediction that is there available in YouTube. You can look at it. Uh, is there a meaning of Venus in the 12th house? See, each and every uh, energy, Venus, I look at the Venus as an energy. So energy, cosmic energy, <coughs> positive, half positive energy is Venus feminine energy and the twelfth house Venus is the signification of loss of loved one or the love may not be so accessible from a person who is having the Venus in twelve. and not only the, this is a general opinion we have to look at it based on the uh, ascendant and on which degree on the twelfth house on which star that star lord how it is posited all the calculation need to be understood, then we can give that accuracy. Okay. And what would you give for a recommendation to the average person that will watch this video, how to improve their life? So self-awareness can be gained by whatever I uh, explained about the free will, the difference between the free will and the free will with the luck free will with the connected to the consciousness and try to understand your free will is connected to consciousness. So if you are connected with your conscious, that free will can modify your hardship. You can do very well. That's what my advice to you all. All the very best. And um, how can someone start to receive a daily chart of their life? Each and every second, the uh, energy flow is uh, different. So, uh, because of the Earth spinning speed, Earth spinning speed is 1600 kilometer per hour. So, per second, approximately 460 meters, which moves. So, this place and this time, whatever the energy we are receiving from the cosmic, this alignment will be different to the next second. So in that way only, the uniqueness changes to each and everybody. Though they are twin children, their uniqueness are not equal. It is different. If you can see the differences. When we understand basically this energy is different, day to day, day energy will be a different energy. Because each and every day, one lunar day moves, that energy is different. Each and every star approximately rules 24 hours. So, that 24 hours energy is different. And each and every day, some other layers of the distance, like uh, that is also different. So, put together, day by day, when the energy is different, when a person individually, how he is able to connect and uh, do something good with that day flowing energy. That understanding, astrology is a wonderful subject, everyone should learn. So when they are able to learn this astrology and practice in their uh, personal life or their improvement, even now in India, people will not do the work during 
Rahu Kala we say that. Rahu Kala means poisonous energy flow. In a daytime, the poisonous energy flow Monday morning 7.30 to 9 a.m. Sunday evening 4.30 to 6 p.m. And normally the people, uh, the learned people, they never do any job on that because whatever the product we produce, whatever the thing we make because of the gravitation and our biorhythm, what happens that the product is receiving that time energy. We are receiving the time energy. When the time energy is not favorable, that will disturb us. So that this knowledge has to be spread out. Everyone, uh, I would recommend everyone to learn this and use in your personal life. Free flow, sail very much comfortably. Have a peaceful success in your life. And uh, if let's say that our chart is based on the time and location of our birth. If we change our location, will our karma just follow us or does our chart change based on where we are in the world? Yeah, it's a wonderful uh, technical modification question. So the technologically, how we say that when we have born in a time zone, if that chart is indicating some negative implication on that particular personality, when you change the time zone opposite, opposite time zone or we need to have a calculation based on that individual. So that the lagna, lagna means ascendant. When we each and every two hours the ascendant moves. <coughs> we need to move it ascendant after two hours, after two hours when do the calculations when the planetary implications are likely to be understood as a positive or a profitable, successful for that particular place, when we suggest a person to change, really that's going to work on him. Great, thank you for your time. Thank you. Thank you for your time too. Is All the very best. Anything else that you would like to say? Uh, I would like to say to everyone that be happy, feel your own happiness inside.